We've selected 21 different cleaning products with varying ranges of environmental claims to clean our test boats today. Our findings will be based on three components, how the products performed on the boats that we tested, how the products performed in the laboratory analysis, and also the cost. For the practical testing, we diluted each cleaner according to the instructions on the label and applied with a sponge, a scrub pad, and a brush. Some products recommended different solutions for various tasks. Here Susan comments about the difference between the strongest and the weakest. There's a difference, I think. Not enough to make me want to use more product because it costs more money that way. David noted that though most cleaners had some sort of odor, some were worse than others. This one definitely has a lot more smell. If you like pine, then that's what you're going to get. If I had to make my decision based on fumes, I would not choose this one. Ted and David both commented about using spray cleaners on a dry surface. I feel like it needs water. Working with a dry surface and just some solution doesn't feel like it's being swept away. It almost feels like I'm rubbing the grit into the surface. It's very dry. So you feel like you're uh, just pushing the dirt into it. This doesn't really seem to be a spray nozzle, it's more of a stream nozzle. And as Susan pointed out, this might be better for spot, spot touching cleaning. certain areas of your boat. 